As we approach the two year mark since George Floyd's murder tomorrow, the demonstration held here in Houston after his killing has led to a lawsuit. Today, 10 protesters who say their civil rights were violated during that demonstration are suing the city and former Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota is joining us live now with a closer look at this case. Andy. Those protesters claim they were arrested and jailed after they were falsely accused of obstructing a roadway. Among other things, they also say they suffered mental anguish, including depression and anxiety due to the actions of Houston police. Houston is united. Two years ago, demonstrators Houston marched through the streets of downtown Houston to protest the murder of George Floyd. In a 21 page federal civil rights lawsuit, 10 protesters who claim they were falsely arrested and jailed detail what they claim they endured at the hands of Houston police. One woman claims she had a $1,200 ER visit due to her injuries after police took her out of her wheelchair and ruptured her Achilles tendon. What you had was massive suppression of freedom of speech. According to court papers, no officer articulated any valid reason for the arrests. Chief Acevedo implemented plans to kettle, arrest, and prosecute individuals who were protesting but had not committed any crime. These type of actions erode the faith and trust that the public has in the police. The lawsuit comes on the eve of the second anniversary of George Floyd's death. Among the plaintiffs, 56 year old Janie Torres, the sister of Jose Campos Torres, who was drowned in Buffalo Bayou by Houston police in the 1970s. She claims she was forced to sleep in her car for at least 14 days due to a lack of proper COVID masking requirements at a facility where she was held before going to jail. According to court papers, many were taken to a large crowded gymnasium with no COVID-19 preventative measures. I believe I was in a state of panic, um, anxiety, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. The city of Houston releasing the following statement to us tonight. It reads the city has not had an opportunity to review the lawsuit. Now that the plaintiffs have filed the petition, it will work its way through the court system. Back live here, you can see a statue memorializing George Floyd on the two year anniversary of his death. It is set to be unveiled tomorrow afternoon here at Tom Bass Park. Live in South Harris County tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.